The Commodores could make some history tonight. They could tonight. make history this evening. And I'm Ann McCloy in for Holly. She's on vacation this week. A good week to be on vacation. Hopefully she's staying cool. Now to developing overnight news. There was a fatal crash in Wilson County that involved a semi-truck. It happened late last night on Hunters Point Pike and North Hartman Drive in Lebanon. We're told two cars and a semi-truck were involved. One person died at the scene. No names have been released this morning. Officers had that area shut down for a while. While they looked into what happened, the road is back open right now. Also new this morning, the search is on for a gunman who shot a man in downtown Springfield overnight. People heard several shots fired near the corner of Blair Street and 21st Avenue. Then a man showed up at a hospital with a gunshot wound in his arm. He's expected to be okay. Detectives are asking anyone with information on the case to come forward. There are still several unanswered questions this morning surrounding the death of a woman who was found lying in a ditch. The Millersville Fire Chief found the woman's body on the side of Woody Lane. The the TBI isn't calling this a murder just yet, but they say there's some strange circumstances surrounding the case. The victim is a woman in her 40s. Police still don't know her name. If you have any information on the case, call the TBI. A Clarksville mother accused of murdering her baby has been indicted by a grand jury. Stephanie Johnson is accused of killing her seven-month-old daughter Astrid in her home on Sonia Drive. Johnson told police that Jesus appeared and took Astrid to heaven during her bath. Johnson's young son was also found lying unconscious on the couch, but they were able to save him. She has not entered a plea yesterday. Officials say she jumped into the lion's den and tried to feed the lions cookies. Security <laughs> caught the woman throwing cookies into the den last week. They asked her to stop and yesterday she returned, jumped the fence and started tossing cookies to the big cats. And just when you think this story cannot get any weirder, the woman allegedly started singing to the lions. Zookeepers had to sneak into the den, get her out before she got hurt. Needless to say, she will not be allowed back at the zoo, but it sounds like the fences and the security are not stopping her. Mm -mm. So. But the lifetime ban is probably the best. Well, coming up, a jogger in Texas finds a baby in her car seat sitting in the middle of a road. And that's just half of this bizarre story. Just amazing. 513, let's go live now to New York. Natalie Morales joins us with what's coming up later on today. Good morning. An Atlanta man is thankful to be alive after a lightning strike blew him right out of his shoes. Yeah, he took video. I, I, think just, I could just see her saying, why didn't you call me? Yeah, but, go to the yeah, hospital probably, first. You probably should call 911. I think he didn't know what happened, so he was trying to put it all together. Maybe. I, I'm wondering if he used the excuse or had some excuse for not finishing the yard work before. Coming up, some explosive new details in the Vanderbilt football rape case. Plus, a close call avoided. An officer saves a woman's life with seconds to spare. The whole thing is caught on video. Plus this. No, 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 what? You all the no, 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 you can't get, hey, 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 you can't give us all our emails. You done lost some. So a congressional hearing on the IRS scandal looked more like a reality TV show. It's what everybody wants to know this morning. Did Vanderbilt beat Virginia? Not yet. All new this morning, an Antioch man has been arrested in Alabama, accused of running a major prostitution ring. According to a local station in Birmingham, Fred Lacey was arrested over the weekend. Imagine driving down a busy highway and seeing a helicopter land right next to you. That's what happened yesterday afternoon. Right. And take a look at the damage the tornado left behind in Plainfield. Welcome back. The story about the little girl who was allegedly asked to leave KFC because of the scars on her face has taken another twist. Yeah, the family of the stupid criminal. Yeah, he didn't right think there. he was going to get caught, but he was wrong. He was. All right, fine. Look. And what they found was two crooks who broke into a store and stole a whole bunch of beer. Channel 4's Adrian Flores got word of this story overnight. He joins us from the Criminal Justice Center with the details. A group of bikers are fighting crime with the help of the internet. Michael Smirka was at a bike night in Murfreesboro last week when he says someone stole his one-of-a-kind $700 helmet. It wasn't so black and white during a vote to open charter schools in Nashville. Last night, the Metro School Board said yes to just five schools. Those schools are Knowledge High, Rocket Ship, a fundraiser is being held later today for a 13-year-old boy who drowned at Cummins Falls. Gavanti Cunningham and his friend died when they got caught in a strong current. It has been a very violent night in Nashville. Four people were shot overnight. Well, a mishap with some candles has left a Gallatin man with some pretty gruesome injuries. Police say the man was at home, fell asleep, and knocked over the burning candles. That started a huge fire that burned over half of the man's body. We have some brand new video of the ferry accident in South Korea. 
This was taken by some tourists who were trapped inside the ferry when it started to tip over. And you can see some of the people inside actually bracing that wall. 13 people are dead after an avalanche on Mount Everest. The avalanche hit just above a base camp in the area around 6.30 a.m. 15th. There's a new twist in the Ukrainian conflict that could spark a lot more violence. Some anti-Semitic flyers have been popping up that say all Jews in Ukraine have to register with pro-Russian forces. That immediately drew comparisons to the start of the Holocaust. All right, 514, researchers from NASA say they've located a new planet that could potentially sustain life. The planet called Kepler-186f is slightly bigger than Earth and may support liquid water. This is huge. This is not the kind of news we like to hear going into a holiday weekend. And four people were shot overnight. Well, the extended deadline to sign up for Obamacare has now passed. And this morning, we now know how many people actually signed up for health insurance under the Affordable Care Act. Tracy Potts in Washington to break it all down for us. There's eHarmony, there's Christian Mingle, and Farmers Only. And now, there's a dating site exclusively for cheeseheads. That's right. There's a new site to add to the online dating game made just for Green Bay Packers fans. GreenBayPackersLovers.com is for fans who are looking for something serious or just for friendship.